Asante sana kwa kutukaribisha. Sawa sawa. So the truck in front of me right here speaks a lot about what we are expecting on the Trading Bell Show. We'll be speaking matters bio because we are at Bio Foods Factory and we have come to speak with the CEO to understand this amazing product that is not afraid of competition, really hitting the market. What's their secret? What are they doing? What is the state of the manufacturing sector right here on the Trading Bell? These are the incubation things. Yeah. So when once the milk is pasteurized, um, it's put in here. Here yeah. we uh, basically add the the live cultures, yeah. which make sure the, the the yogurt starts to ferment, which is basically fermenting. It's incubation. It stays here for six to thirteen hours. Oh. In that process, we do many checks on the quality mm -hmm. to see if the yogurt is viscosity is well, if it's uh, from uh, from um, uh, from every level. Uh, it, it, it's conforming to standards, mm -hmm. and once that's done, then it goes here to the packing lines, okay. and it starts to be packed. So they're already packing something. Yeah, here this today. has been uh, this is what we've been packing today. Yes. So this is actually a very unique product. Uh huh. Uh, it's our coconut yogurt, which oh. is basically a, a yogurt made out of coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So it's a non-dairy product. It mm. has no dairy, mm. and we're very proud of it. Why? It is made out of Kenyan coconut milk. Mm. So we get coconut milk from the coast. And here it's made into coconut yogurt. If we, we we also have pineapples, pineapple coconut yogurt, which is made with Kenyan pineapple. Yeah. So it's a purely Kenyan product. So and no we milk. Have, yes, and we have people tried it that are like that one vegan, and everybody's amazed that we can make this kind of product without using milk. So each batch of products that leave this factory mm -hmm. is tasted by panel. So okay. we taste the product. Yeah. Does it smell right? Does it feel right? Does it taste right? Mm. If a product is not right, we hold it. So there's no batch that leaves this factory without a team of bio actually confirming that the product is conforming also in terms of experience. So this right. is yogurt. The other one had, had big packs for because we do a lot of um, products for hotels which yeah. come in five liters. Yeah. The people at home won't recognize. Yeah. So this is our, yeah. our Greek style yogurt, a product that we introduced mm -hmm. two years ago. Mm -hmm. Super successful. So, so Greek yogurt, Greek yeah. style yogurt is a yogurt that's a bit thicker mm -hmm. and a little bit more sour. Okay. Big hit. And this is also another product that people love which was an innovation that we brought to the market, which is called Fruit on the Bottom. Oh. So Fruit on the Bottom is a product, the fruit is on the bottom, okay, the so yogurt is on so top. So you enjoy the yogurt and then you Yes, and if you see here, it says open, it has a small spoon. Oh. So you can break the spoon out of the, out of the cap, yeah. and then you can eat it like that. It's an on-the-go product. Straight up, really You go. can see the fruit here. Yeah. You see? And this is another thing we're check. very proud of, which is our Tinga Tinga range. Uh -huh. This is the kids' range. Mm -hmm. So everybody knows, I think, Tinga Tinga from Tanzania. Can you see it? Tinga Tails. Oh, Tinga Tails. Yeah. <laughs> so we have, for every animal, we have a yogurt. OK. Yeah. Wow. So this is perfect peach with the flamingo on it. So kids love this. Kids love this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is our classic that everybody knows, Bio from mm. Bio Black. Yeah. Right? Sure. The biggest seller, nat Nature Plain. Mm. So guys, just biggest sell is actually nature play. Yeah, nature play. We'll and then play. vanilla, and then strawberry and mixed mm -hmm. berry. But uh, by far, this is the biggest seller. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this is shipped out every day. Mm -hmm. This is eaten in all the major hotels in, yeah. in Kenya. In Kenya, actually. So this is um, where we keep our uh, probiotic drink, uh -huh. which is bioactive. It's, it's also we introduced about two years ago, hugely popular. Oh, so it's fine. a uh, mm -hmm. yogurt drink mm -hmm. with real fruits mm -hmm. and probiotics. And probiotics are basically what helps you to maintain gut health. Oh, okay. So this is a product that helps you to maintain gut health. Okay. Um, so it's not only very nice, mm -hmm. it's not only very energizing, it's also very helpful in maintaining uh, good very gut health. health. So this is milk, packed My milk. Microbiology samples. We take it from the line yeah. and then we check if the milk is actually conforming mm -hmm. to our standards. So. We check all the milk that comes in. Yeah. We check the milk and the yogurt during processing. We then check the milk once it's packed mm -hmm. and also the yogurt to see if it's conforming. And then we do every morning the trying okay. to see if it also tastes, smells, and the whole experience is right. Yeah. yeah. And, and are you exporting some, by the way? Uh, we are exporting to Uganda and we're exporting to Tanzania and we'll be exporting to Rwanda soon. Okay. Yeah. So we're working, I think, in line with uh, the government of Kenya's agenda. We, are, we actually have a team as we speak mm -hmm. on the ground in Rwanda yeah. uh, to explore the opportunities. And they were very positive. I got some messages from them yesterday. Yeah. We're also working proactively on DRC mm -hmm. and of Sudan. So we have a very deliberate agenda in line with 
the, the, the strategy of the government of Kenya. I think the, the strategy is to start exporting 1 billion liters of milk. Yeah. Uh, so we as a company um, for, I believe that's a very good strategy. Mm -hmm. So we are actually proactively now growing our exports. I appreciate all that you're doing. You know, speaks volumes why in my home we don't take anything else other than bio. <laughs> Great. So otherwise I would have asked you to leave. You know <laughs> at least I'm home now. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. But first, you know, people would be asking, we see these amazing products in the shelves. Who is behind it? And at least now they can put a face to it. But the story behind bio, and I know this can be long, but what could you say in brief what inspired you to start this amazing product and the chain? Well, actually, I believe you build on the shoulder of giants. So the founder of this business was Benoit Zakaria, yeah. who actually it's a very nice story. Mm -hmm. He was flying, he was a German educated Indian milling engineer working in Kenya. And he was on a flight from Nairobi to Zurich mm -hmm. with Swiss Air, back in the day Swiss Air, that yeah. was in the 90s, still existed. Mm -hmm. uh, and he got yogurt, he got a fruit yogurt. And he was on his flight and he was eating this yogurt and he said, this is amazing, this is real fruit yogurt. And at that time, like end 80s, early 90s, there was no fruit yogurt in Kenya. Yeah. So he said, I'm going to bring fruit yogurt to Kenya. So he started in Langata. Mm -hmm. He started in 1992, yeah. bio, mm -hmm. small setup, yogurt, build it and build it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, when I came to Kenya in 2013, mm -hmm. I saw the opportunity in dairy. I yeah. saw there's a need, there's a growing middle class in Kenya. Mm -hmm. People are interested in quality food. Uh, yeah. They are concerned about food safety and they want a great tasting product. So I started looking. Um, what can we do? So mm -hmm. we partnered with Binoy and we acquired the company. Yeah. Um, and what inspires me personally and what inspires us as a business, uh, basically we have a very clear vision. Yeah. We want to build, build a world where everyone has access to safe and healthy food. I'm curious to know first, what inspired you to take the line that you have taken, which is purely organic and sustainable sort of line? Uh, is there something that inspires you to decide this is where BioFoods needs to focus on? It all starts with, with food safety. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the challenge that we have in Kenya is that the milk that we get from our farms is due to all kinds of handling issues, mm -hmm. not of very good quality. Okay. So we have a lot of, and, and you, you must have experienced it at home, you buy milk and it expires after two mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. That's purely bacterial contamination. It mm -hmm. means that milk was not clean. Okay. So. In line with our mission, we believe that everybody has the right and should have access to safe and healthy food. Okay. And that starts at the farm. Mm -hmm. So we first and foremost focus on our farmers, help our farmers to, create, uh, to produce more yeah. and better milk. And better mm -hmm. milk is milk that has good fat, good protein, but yeah. it's also free of all kinds of contaminations. Yeah. And if you work in nature, and we all see it every year, there's droughts in Kenya, it's hot, and we, we see the effects of global warming. I think. Right? You asked the question, why sustainability? Yeah. We believe it's the only w way to move to the future. Okay. We just look around, we just came from a drought. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't find butter on the shelves, there's a shortage of milk. Uh, yeah. uh, all our food products go up because there's not enough water, right? Mm -hmm. And there's too much heat. Yeah. So that is a warning sign for, a warning sign for all of us. Mm -hmm. It means the way we're currently conducting ourselves is heating up the earth. Yeah. And it's directly jeopardizing the future of even our children, mm -hmm. right? We can't even say it's our children's children. We have to look at our own children, what's yeah. their future. Mm -hmm. And that's, therefore, we have made sustainability core of our strategy. Wow. And that's what does that mean? It means that in every decision we make, yeah. sustainability is a key parameter of decision making. Okay. Whether, we, whether it's about buying trucks, it's about looking at electric vehicles, it's about putting solar on the roofs, it's mm -hmm. about uh, doing water recycling. Mm -hmm. um, so we measure, for instance, our CO2 footprint. We see how much CO2 we produce. Yeah. And we have a target every year to drive that down, to bring that down. It is, um, uh, uh, for instance, we are a paying member of Petco. That means for every pe gram of plastic yeah. that leaves this factory, mm -hmm. a gram of plastic is collected and recycled. Wow. Uh, we want to achieve circularity. So yeah. in everything we do, mm -hmm. we focus on how does this impact the earth? Yeah. How does this impact the community? Yeah. And how can we as a company proactively improve yeah. that? Or okay. at least make the impact less detrimental? All right. Yeah. I think that's fair enough. Uh, let's talk about your reception because, um, as I've said, you have many converts, people who are already even really loving the product and all that. I'm curious to know how is the reception and what's your range of distribution? Is it regional or is it just in Kenya? 
Well, we are first of all throughout Kenya. Yeah. So whether you go to Migori, uh, Mugoma, we will get some bio. Uh, you can uh, Mutwati. You yes. can. You will find bio, which we're very proud of. Uh, and I, I think we're also very proud that we're a very loved brand yeah. uh, throughout the country. Mm -hmm. um, and we export at this moment to Uganda and Tanzania, and we are actively in line with the government of Kenya's agenda. We are very actively pursuing more export opportunities. Okay. Uh, as we speak, we have two people in Kigali uh, opening up uh, a relationship to make sure that we start exporting to Great. Rwanda. Mm -hmm. We have taken initiative to go to, uh, we're also working on opening up DRC. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the government of Kenya has set the strategy, we want to be a net exporter of milk. Yeah. And we believe that's a very good strategy and we want to support that. And it's quite, uh, if I may call it, a, a system that is mm. quite integrated and I love that. But I wanted you to, you know, just verbally explain to the people how you ensure that you are maintaining this okay. quality yeah. uh, for the consumers. A good question. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, we are the only company in Kenya that operates in line with the, the most stringent global quality standards. So we have said we are going to adopt the most stringent quality standards yeah. uh, and we're going to help ourselves and our whole supply chain to get up to speed. Yeah. I think it all starts at the farm. Mm -hmm. As I told you before, you yes. can't undo in effect what's wrong with the product. So first is, and it's actually an interesting story. Yeah. When a farmer wants to become a bio farmer, mm -hmm. we visit, mm -hmm. we assess the farm, we give recommendations. Yeah. They then implement the recommendations. Mm -hmm. Then we come and do an audit, mm -hmm. and they need to score seventy-five percent or higher. Okay. Then we do a month of testing, so we take samples. Yeah. Um, and we actually see that the quality that the farm is, uh, farmer is supplying are in line with our quality standards, and then they can start supplying. And we do that audit every year. Yeah. And then, of course, we spend a lot of time with the farmer, helping them to improve mm -hmm. and get better production, better quality, and b get more profitability. Yeah. Now, so the milk is then collected every day with a milk tanker. Mm -hmm. At the farm, we measure how much milk we get. Mm -hmm. It goes into the tanker. The tanker is sealed. Yeah. So that there's no tampering on the road with that milk. Mm -hmm. When it arrives here, you sort at the milk reception, the seal is broken. Yeah. You take a sample, mm -hmm. that sample is brought to the lab that you've seen, yeah. and in the lab we perform 17 tests. Right. So the milk stays outside of the factory until all the test results are in. Mm -hmm. And when the test results tell us that the milk mm -hmm. is clean, yeah. healthy, and at the highest quality standards, yeah. then the milk is allowed into the factory. Okay. But that's not where it stops. Mm -hmm. Even in the factory, while we are producing, during the production process, you've seen the ladies and gentlemen with the red Some colors red, yes. for the quality uh, yeah. assurance team. Okay. They take samples from the line, mm -hmm. which are, while the process is ongoing, being yeah. tested whether the product is still conforming to standards. Mm -hmm. Then when the product is packed, mm -hmm. right, we take an observation, so then the, the product is tested again. Yeah. We then take an observation sample, which is kept through the whole shelf life. So for instance, if a product has two weeks shelf life, like our milk, yeah. We will maintain, from this batch, yeah. we will have one bottle mm -hmm. which is maintained and during the shelf life, we're testing it again. Is it behaving in the right way? Okay. Yeah. Wow. And what is important to know, every morning in this place, we're here in the bio canteen, mm -hmm. there's a team of about six people. Yeah. Every batch of product is tasted before it leaves the factory. Before it leaves. And before the product is offloaded at the supermarket, our drivers check with a temperature gun if the product is actually at the right temperature so that we can guarantee mm -hmm. that the cold chain which is so critical for such a for such a high quality product yeah. is maintained until the shop mm -hmm. and then even in the shop we as bio check that the temperatures of the chillers are right wow. so if there's a problem with the temperature of the chiller we will raise our hand and mm -hmm. we call the retailer and say there's a problem in this outlet please do something about it so to make sure that the consumer yeah. is guaranteed the best bio quality, best quality. Lovely, lovely. I have seen a range of products, including some of your vegan products. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked. I, I don't know. I think I go straight to what I like, <laughs> but I have, I have seen a, a range of products and uh, you keep, you know, popping up many more. I've seen some of your guys at the labs. They're still uh, trying out great things that are coming out. Yeah. And I know I could ask you the question to tell us about all this, and there's so many. I don't want you to ask that question. But what are you looking at? Uh, because it looks like you're constantly innovating. And what, what is informing this? Well, we have a very clear philosophy. We stay very close to our consumers. Okay. So what we actually do is every month, we invite about 30 consumers to come or we go to them. Mm -hmm. And first of all, we let them blind taste our products against our competitors. Oh. To make sure that we don't... <laughs> I always call, you don't want to get high on your own supply. You, I am so great. We uh, want to actually test <laughs> that the consumer is telling us, I yeah. love this more than your product. Mm. Right? That's number one. Mm -hmm. And in these engagements, we also try to learn what are the things that people, what is on their mind? What is keeping them busy? What do they want? 
And so, for instance, you mentioned the product, uh, the vegan product, the non-dairy yogurt that we have developed. Yeah. We saw that people, there was people that said, I'm on a vegan diet, or I want to, um, I, I, for my religion, I'm not, uh, I, I can't consume dairy products. So yeah. we started thinking, hey, how can we, what can we do? Mm -hmm. And you met Kazia and Catherine, who yes. are our product developers. Yeah. So then we come up with a concept. Mm -hmm. uh, we go out and do research. We try, we fail, mm -hmm. we try again, and slowly something comes out. We then go back to the consumer. Mm -hmm. Ask them what do you think, compare different, different sorts, yeah. and then slowly we tweak it to the point where we believe now we have a product that the consumer will love. Wow. Um, and that's in the heart of our business. So we have a product development meeting every two weeks that I personally attend mm -hmm. with, the, with our team. We have a great team of people and we are constantly asking ourselves, are we relevant? What yeah. can we do better? What can we improve? Uh, etc etc all right so it's, it's a matter of staying very close with the consumer wow lovely we're taking a quick break with joachim here biofoods telling it as it is and enjoying our very nice glass Let's of milk glass. <laughs> absolutely cheers <laughs> we'll be we'll be right back after some sips <laughs>